What's going on, guys? Did Mr. Beast ruin YouTube? Jack Decepticon, I think so. Let's get right into the video. If you want to like and subscribe, please do. DJ! <laughs> now, Jack, a completely unrelated question. <laughs> do you like Mr. Beast? No. Oh, Jack. Oh! Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. Now, in all honesty, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money, and popularity than it did about having fun. You just don't think you have fun playing Squid Games? You don't think you have fun riding on yachts? If he Building had, wells if, in Africa? I don't know. If he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. We'd see the fun. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, all right, so Mr. Beast did want to respond to this. We're going to read it together. Uh, DJ, could I have a little bit of background music, please? Appreciate you. So I ruined YouTube because I didn't buy mansions and sports cars and instead reinvested my money into making content, focus on doing good and inspiring kids to help people. If he had fun, videos would be longer. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> you think I'd give up every hour of my life for 14 years if I didn't have fun? I'm dead. This clip is insanely disrespectful in my opinion, and obviously there is so much I can say about his content, but I'll just take the punches and be the bigger man. <sighs> very interesting, very interesting. Uh, but also, some people brought this up right here, and I want to read about it right quick. In order to upload weekly videos later this year, I've been filming every single day and have and only have a couple days off filming between now and the end of the year i'm dying mentally i hope you guys love these videos when they go up i'm pushing myself to the max to get them done and then people's responses is this is what mr jack septic guy says itself i've been doing this for close to 11 years and i'm still super get super giddy and excited buying new games all the time fuck i love game video games end all right, DJ, bring the camera back on me. Notice my head was cut off there. DJ, when next time I have to do uh, a side-by-side -side like that, I need you to not clip my head off. Can you, can you do that? Thank you. <clears throat> back to the video or the topic or my answer. Do I think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Do I think Jacksepticeye has some merit to what he was saying? Well, let me start with this. No, he didn't ruin YouTube. Come on now. <laughs> he didn't ruin YouTube. But what Jack said is true. See, two, two things can be true, okay? I don't think Mr. Beast himself ruined YouTube, but for him to say um, that he's an inspiri uh, inspiring kids, right, to help people, but then to go on to make a tweet such as, I'm dying mentally, I'm sorry, guys. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Most kids aren't go can't even inspire to be anything like Mr. Beast at this point. Maybe the old Jimmy, when he was counting to 10,000 or 100,000, whatever, or a million, Right. Maybe kids could do that. But I mean, that can't be replicated. Nobody's going to watch that now. Um, but to say that he's something that can be inspired to be. I think that Jimmy is gone. Right. The Jimmy, he's still a philanthropist and he still gives away tons of money. He's not from what I hear. He's a frugal guy and all these things. So I'm not saying that he's still not uh, very giving. Right. Far more giving than a lot of us, I would believe. But let me say this. I also. Don't think that that Jimmy that they kids could be inspired to be no longer exists. In order to be Jimmy at this point, you would have to get your own company going, right? Get your own company going, have an unsatiable obsession with YouTube that never stops to the point where Jimmy even says in his interviews, right, that he just goes until he can't. He goes until he can no longer do it. So he goes until he just mentally dang near passes out. It takes a couple of days off to get right back to it. Kids don't want to work at Starbucks. There's no way on earth they'll be able to have anything close to that worth ethic. So there's no way. I don't think I see his videos as inspirational to kids anymore. Nobody can be him. Is he an entertaining individual? Yes. Hardworking Mary. Hardworking Mary. Hardworking man. No doubt. But to say that anybody can inspire to be him is crazy. Listen. And Jack Tepsakai, I don't think he's wrong in saying what he's saying because Mr. Beast, the way he talks about YouTube is like he's obsessed with it. He wants to be the biggest 
YouTuber ever by far always thinks about the numbers, always thinks about the perfect thumbnail, always thinks about the views. And obviously he thinks about the money. He has to. He has people to pay. So he's not wrong in saying that it becomes about money, views, and popularity. Mr. Beast himself says he wants to be the biggest YouTuber. He definitely cares about the views and he, and he has to care about the money. So that's true, right? And a lot, of, I don't think that, but here's my thing though. I also want to say this. I don't think that people think about being Mr. Beast anymore because like I said, it seems so unattainable. You can't really inspire to be him. But I think that YouTube has become about money, popularity, and views, but not because of Jimmy. I don't think Jimmy was the reason behind that, right? If Jack believes that's who it is, Jack knows far more than I will ever know about Mr. Beast because Jack is such a big YouTuber. He's deeper into the YouTube politics than I am. So I don't know where he's where that's coming from for him. But for me as a person who's just a nobody on this platform, right? Just a, a guy on the very, very outside skirts of the city, right? In the flooded district. <laughs> Y'all know what that's from. Anyway, I'm just living on the outside. But from what I see, is YouTube about money, views, and popularity? Yeah, it is. A lot of it. It's hard to just get on YouTube and just have fun. Like, I have fun, but I'm a person who's also older, right? I'm an older man. I have a family. I'm different than some YouTubers who are 13, 14, or even teenagers who get on here. I'm not, like, driven by... I want to make a lot of money, but I like doing that from my 9 to 5. And I know if I keep doing what I do in my 9 to 5, the way I invest money and stuff like that will give me money, right? And I do think I can make money on this platform at some point, but just not right now. But it's not an obsession to make money, not to the point where I would give up my morals, my faith, or anything like that to just give in to anything and just become this ridiculous grifter or something. I could never do that. I have to, um, I have, for me, I want to be able to show my family what I've done if I make it big here on YouTube, but I don't want my family to ever look at me and I don't want my son to be like, Hey dad. Oh man, my dad was a sellout or my dad. He, he was never like that when he's with us. He believed completely different things. But some reason when he got on there, he decided to talk wild. I don't want my old friends or my mother and father to ever look at my content and be like, wow, that's nothing like him. You know, <laughs> he's just, he's lying. He's this, he's that, you know, not saying that everybody, I can't say that my truth won't be different from somebody else's, but somebody else's truth. But I want me to be as authentic as I possibly can. What we see more and more today on this YouTube is that people just do the wildest outlandish things and then little children, teenagers clap for them. And then people take validation from that. I don't think that that should be the point. But here's the thing that th that's just going to exist. That's not just a YouTube thing. That's a legacy media, what people call it these days. But that's what you're going to see on the bigger channels, the CNNs, the Fox News, the ESPNs, the Fox Sports. I mean, that's just who it is. There's going to be some people who are authentically who they are on camera. What you see is really what you get. And they love what they do on television. And there's some people who do it for the money. Just like there's NBA players, NHL players, there's people in... Uh, you know, other sports that love it, doing stuff for the love of the sport. They love watching film. They love practicing. They love the strategy. And then there's other people who want to do it for the fame and money. So there's always going to be people on YouTube who do it for the money. There's going to be people who do it for popularity. And there's going to be people who do it for the views and the fame that comes with that. And there's some people who just do it because they love it. And there's the people who are mixed all in between. Sometimes you love it, but it's also a money thing for you. You still got to try to make money because it's still competition. Kind of, you know, that's how it is. What I don't like is when I see YouTubers do this and I see them destroying people with lies. That's disgusting to me. I don't care if people want to get on here just to make money. I'm fine with that. I don't care if people get on here just to be popular. Don't care. I don't care if people get on here to just get views. No problem with that. I only hate it is when people say the most disgusting things and it's all for money and it's all for views, all for popularity. You don't care about the people that are watching you. You don't care about people who are looking to you. You don't care about the young children that you may be um, really getting into the mind of. You're just saying stuff only for money, only for popularity, only for views. And you don't care who you destroy or you who you have to step on. That disgusts me. And I think that would be an issue. But I don't know if that's what Jack was saying about Mr. Beast. But if he's saying that, I disagree. I don't think that Jimmy is stepping on people. I don't think he's trying to. He has some evil attention and he only does this for money. I think he's obsessed with the YouTube. But that's what you got to do to be great sometimes. It just takes an obsession. 
I think I'm obsessed with YouTube, just not to what he's doing. Right. I didn't find YouTube when I was a kid. Right. I was always a man by the time I came to YouTube. So I was already out on my own, already living life, never at my parents' house, already been through college. It was completely different when I got on YouTube. So my 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 uh, coming into this thing was completely different to some people who were much younger. Right. So we we obviously look at it different. The things he thinks about and the way his mind works, my mind would never work that way. I've never been uh, that kind of person. I don't think like that creatively like making i think about making videos but stuff like that but i'm more of a talker i'm more of a pundit this is who i've been growing up i always like talking about topics i used to love me and my friends used to go walking down the street just talking about life that's the stuff i love i love being around people and just hearing their opinions even if i hate it i love watching people and i love listening to people that's different i'm just a different person that's how i grew up different environment right and that's who i am more of a people person I don't know who he is, but nonetheless, my point is, I'm, I'm way off. I'm way over here now, baby. Bring it back. I do not think that he ruined YouTube, but do I think YouTube is becoming kind of a money thing? That's capitalism, baby. I'm not against capitalism. I'm not against capitalism, but I'm saying that is capitalism. Just like Twitter, I mean, just like X becoming uh, ad revenue. You think people aren't going to change? Now people are posting on X like there ain't nothing else to do. They post all day, every day to make that money. Heck, I put videos over there, baby. When there's money to be made, you got to do something. Nah, I just do it because I want. I know. There's, some people don't come to YouTube. So I put my stuff on X. So anyway, that's just how I feel. Let me know how y'all feel. I'm out.